tuned into the chat here. <laughs> Guess who just came on? Oh shit! I didn't. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Mark Holmes. Mark Holmes is here. What <sighs> the hell? It's. You know, I, I I feel so proud right now. I'm sitting here looking at my babies. I feel so so good. You know, I, I've been sitting here thinking all week, what should I do? Because here it is, I've got Cain and Abel that are going against each other this weekend. You're gonna be fighting it out. We're gonna be no, we're gonna be beating his ass, his team's ass. We're gonna be wrestling in the bedroom. Yeah, you know, I, I'm gonna just just yell up there and say, "Shut that noise up and go to bed, kids." There you go. <laughs> This is the first time ever, isn't this, on on, on YouTube? Uh, this might break YouTube, don't you think? What, you mean to have us three on? All three, three of us here together? Yeah, uh, I didn't is know this a family reunion? I said a couple of things to you, to Pizzle, <laughs> to Joe Shea. So if you guys feel like coming on, I didn't expect anybody to come on. Um, so it's a treat. Well, I was actually coming back from the grocery store because I got to cook. You know, we, we have a Thanksgiving feast. Uh, for us? for what the Cowboys us, game, Dad? yeah, you yeah. Well, I, got, us, Dad? I, I got the twenty pound turkey. I got ten pound ham. You know, we had the sweet potatoes, the mashed potatoes. We had the baked beans, the broccoli, and, and and I just went to my mama's house. I went to grandma's house, guys. I got the lemon meringue pie, and I've got the pumpkin pie. Hey, you know what? I love I love pumpkin pie. Wait, wake up, Michael Anthony. Where's the fitness? Is he taking a nap right now? Oh yeah, he's definitely taking. Is a he nap. Just, get his ass up? Why am me pizzle the one always have to do all the work around here? You know. What, well, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious as to who Mark thinks is going to win this game this week. He knows that. Oh, Mark you know, scared. There, there could be the Jason Garrett boost. That you know, yeah, Jason that, Garrett leaving. That you know the the clouds have parted because see I, I saw this happen last year. I was literally sitting in my backyard. I'm sorry, two years ago, and I was looking up at this guy and I heard Jason Garrett was fired, and all of a sudden all these black clouds parted, and there was this big orange thing in the sky, and I was like, "What the hell is that?" It was the sun. Things changed. I mean, it took time, but getting rid of Jason Garrett. It, it's funny because I I told people. You know, Jason Garrett is not a good coach. But Rasheed yeah. sat out here, no, man, you know, you guys were 8-8 eight and eight and stuff. He's going to do great things with Daniel Jones. He's got a running game with Barkley. And I'm like, yo, dude, he's really slept rock. Scared. Scared. So you what, sound, babe, you that, sound scared, if Mark. If that's the case, then, Mark, my Giants should have a better chance. So, you're, you're, Mark, you're and, saying and, the and, Giants and, are going to win. You, you see your saying. brother over here is overconfident. You know, they, they, all these confident. Eagle fans have been, you know, just like, See, you know, jacking off. And, oh, scared. shit, we're, we're going to win. I literally had the, the Eagle fans coming? saying you guys are going to win the division. What's that? I have Eagle fans out there saying that you guys are going to win they the division. They can win the division. They can. And, and I'll tell you that right. Let me get a couple of these super chats because they're coming in real quick. Birdman951, he says, cop, you ain't ready for this smoke. Say his name, Jalen Hurts, is coming for you, cop. You want to respond to that? Micah Parsons. Put, put it, I, I'm sure he said all that with his mask on. <laughs> Super Philly 31. Thank you for Super Chase. Says Raiders 27, Cowboys 23. What do you Let's think see. of that, Mark? Okay. I, I'm just ignoring that. Actually, I'm going to talk to my other son. I'm going to talk to my boy. How's my granddaughter, first? baby doll? She Demon Badger. Thank you for the Super Chat, man. <laughs> okay. He says, they tell, laugh tell her grandpa said disgrace. hello. Uh, it, it, it actually game. hurt me watching you suffer so much on Monday night. I'm dying He's over lying. here. I'm no, dying. I did. Yo, I, I, I said that on my chat and stuff. I was just like, my poor boy. I'm he, dying over here, Mark. He, he, you have to be. But now I let am. me tell you, you almost had it right about Joe Boo and the shirt and stuff, you know, where you're trying to get the mojo. But see, you got to have a couple of things to make it work. You got to have the chicken wings for Joe Boo. And you got to have the rum, and you got to have the cigar. And you got to have Jason Garrett out. And Jason Garrett the fuck out. That's yeah. right. So, you know. Yeah, I, I think so, that, think that, look, that, that that's the one thing I will agree with. Um, 
you know, sometimes when you get a new coordinator, you don't really know what they're going to do. Mm-hmm. You know, that that is true. Backyard Bird Podcast, I feel Super Chat says, we coming for your meats, Mark Holmes. We definitely coming for the meats. It, it See, was like- I, I think I think that the Giants are in a bad situation. Uh, I feel bad for Pizzle. I, I do. No, because, you don't. Be, no, I don't. But <laughs> I kind of I, 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 I do on, on a human level, right? I mean, he is my brother after all. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I do feel bad for him on, on one level, but it's just that they're in our way. So they have to be they have to be dealt with this week. Uh, here's the, sh- the shame about this whole thing. We're playing the Giants this week. Giants are three and seven. I think the Giant fans seem down after you, mo- you know after Monday night. Yeah. yeah, but there was such a rivalry. There was so much built up for that game in the off season because the Giants wanted us, and they made the game so late in the season. Now you know I, I don't think we're getting Giants at full energy. Should I? Well, say? I, but I just uh, I disagree with you too. I, I disagree with that, and here's here's the reason why I disagree with it because. We actually, our team is actually actually getting healthy. We're actually getting players back, like Kenny Galladay and Saquon, who we don't even use anyways. Uh, imagine having Evan Ingram, I mean, not Evan Ingram, but uh, um, Ezekiel Elliott, uh, Mark, and, and not ever using him. You know, it doesn't even. It doesn't oh, we've even done that. Sense. We've done but, that I mean, before. Yeah, we're actually getting players healthy. It's just, the, the, I think the thing that we're sad about is we just watched Daniel probably play one of his worst games ever, being a New York Giant quarterback. And so I, it's just not a lot of confidence right now. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, and and we're the opposite. We feel we have a lot of confidence right now. We feel pretty good. Cool Eagle, thank you for super chat. He says, "Get ready for that L, Marky Mark. Pound Eagles up." Just call me Flair. Thank you for super chat. He says, "Mark Holmes, you're old and boring." That's it's, that's so mean. It's funny that you say that. You, like, Mark Holmes, our Eagle, daddy. Eagle fans have not been confident about Jalen Hurts all year long. Now that he's like, oh, he's the greatest yeah. thing since sliced it's bread, so, right? It, it's so hypocritical of Eagle fans to be like, oh, Jalen Hurts is the man. Now. I, I I've guy, been like, I I've been consistent with Jalen Hurts. Mm-hmm. Which, I have, that's that's you though. Not all Eagle fans have been that way. You just listed. All Eagle fans are feeling good. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I think they're feeling good. Not it, 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 here's the here's the thing. Here's why Eagle fans are feeling good. Okay, it's because all, especially early in the year, we were calling for them to run the ball, run the ball, and they really. The, I give Coach Sirianni credit for this. He has changed the offense, the way we play on offense. The whole identity of this team has changed. We we're a run first team, mm-hmm. and we're going to run it down your ass and. And I think with a young quarterback like a Jalen Hurts, that allows the game to slow up enough for him to start to develop. We were putting way too much on him. And so I think that we're not the same team that we were early on. And I think that because we've done that, Jalen Hurts has had a chance to actually develop. I think that's what they're confident in. Well, one thing you do have going for you, I think you have the second easiest schedule going down the rest of the season. Right. Um, which can help you. But, you know, the funny thing is about football is you look at this. You know, everybody's on on the Cowboys' ass about losing and everything else, but everybody has been up and down. Tampa Bay lost to Washington on the road. In fact, Tampa Bay is terrible on the road. You saw Josh Allen um, going against the Jaguars. They scored six points. Um, You know, everybody has had clunker games. It's kind of like – who is hot at the right time? This might just be your guys, you know, you're, you're feeling real good and all that. Uh, you're feeling a little overconfident right now because that was what happened to the Cowboys versus Denver. You know, we started believing all the hype of, oh, yeah, man, Cowboy. It's just Denver and Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, keep on that. And watch the Giants come in there and smack your ass around, son. You, 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 you can't. I agree. You can't be overconfident with any division rivals. I, Not I, even I agree with that. Against anybody. You think the Bills really thought that they were going to lose to the Jaguars? True, true, true. Think about that. No to guarantee. the Jaguars, 9-6? to six? The fuck? When I saw no that, I was like, "Am I, I mean, on crack or something?" You, I'll tell you this, uh, Philly. I wish, I wish we'd already played the Detroit Lions. Yeah, you know, I mean, you guys beat the Saints. Heck, we beat the Saints. We beat a better version of the Saints. True, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we've got them next week. Thank you. You're guys. gonna lose. You got to play them against Trevor Simeon. Yeah, I mean that was that was great. It was great. I mean, I'm not gonna no, complain about. Not, it was just that you got to beat uh, the Saints team in the in the in the. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, we, we ran for 242 yards on the best rushing defense in the National Football League. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but who had awesome. pretty healthy, 
they were pretty healthy coming in again from one week you can go from the penthouse to the outhouse but here's it's what i like would that. argue here's what i, I would argue philly about this game is you remember obviously the two games the eagles and giants played a year ago right i don't want to talk about evan ingram dropping a pass that should have won the first game but both games how can you argue that the giants were better in both games Giants they were better than the, the Eagles. They, no, no, they they lost. No, it, it, no listen, no, listen, they, listen. They, no, we we no. You That's, made one too many mistakes and lost. That's because we were better. We made less mistakes no, than you. No, no. Ingram dropped that ball. Was that not a mistake? That, but that's nothing. The Eagles had did. The Eagles didn't do that. We did that. We I shot ourselves that. in the foot. Same thing hiring what? Jason Garrett. We shot ourselves in the foot. You didn't do uh, that. You're, you're not happy. You're not happy with Jason. Guy. You thought you liked Jason Garrett. I was trying to be supportive. <laughs> <laughs> we, we warned had, you. I mean, we told you. To get, somebody told you. had to go down after Monday night. Somebody at least, at least you guys were smart enough to fire him after two years really, instead of the Cowboys who kept him for ten. You the ain't lying on that Jason one. Garrett. This is the truth about Jason Garrett. Every coach on that staff that Joe Judge has a part of that staff. He has a connection with, except for Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett's the only man that didn't have a connection previously with Joe Judge. There's a lot of college coaches and Patriots yep. connections with Joe Judge. Jason Garrett wasn't brought in with Joe with with Joe Judge. So the reality is, it was easy to sit there and blame Jason Garrett. Granted, the offense was stinking anyways, but the fact is, it was easy for them to blame Jason Garrett. And my hope mm -hmm. here, Philly five hundred is that this is going to light a big-ass torch under their ass, Good. and we're going to put some paint on Philly and make and make Dad Mark Holmes happy. Uh, it doesn't matter. Mark. I mean, you know. Oh, Mark, it, it matters. You're actually, scared, you know what? You know. I think what here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do because my two kids are fighting it out, and, and one of you guys deserves a trophy. So I'm going to make a special <laughs> NFC East wait, wait a minute. Joe Barty. <laughs> What? Wait a minute. So look is, at more. Look at our daddy here. Is this is this the proposal right here? Well, no. I, no this here, sounds like the proposal. Here's this what I'm gonna like do. Okay, okay. You, you see behind me that that's actually the salute to service. Okay, uh, Joe Barty. I think what I'll do is I'll put giant blue on one side. I'll put eagle uh, green on the other, and I'll put mm -hmm. burgundy. No, I'll put burgundy Maybe on the, the back. Date on it. Yeah, and I'll put the date on it. And so what we'll do is when what you about guys the score. Put, well, you put the score on too, sure. Okay. So whoever wins gets that one, and then the next time you play an NFC East guy, then boom, it, it just and and you know each of us sign it, and it just kind of goes through. I like this. So, so this, I love it. I'm this in, is, I I'm totally in. Okay. Yeah, what so, are we calling it? What what is this trophy called? I don't I don't know what we're calling. Call, you guys come up with it. I, I I came up with the idea. We'll we'll come up with the name. You know, we'll ask the fans. What do you guys think? call it? The Pizzle Five Hundred. <laughs> the Pizzle Five Hundred. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, I think I don't know. Be interesting. I don't know. I like it. I like it. Let me get a super chat here. You know, uh, Sean I, Davis, thank you for super chat. Guy. Hold on, Capizzle. He says Barkley has proven nothing but getting hurt. He is no Zeke. I mean, Sean thanks, Davis. Ga won. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I, I, yeah. I honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick I, up. I, for I, I think Zeke's an awesome player. Like I, yes. I don't talk junk about Zeke at all. Like, no, I think no. he's awesome. I, 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 but I gotta say this. Okay. And and I'm I was a big Barkley fan because he was at Penn State, um, but I think that for him to come back from the injury he came back this year, it's kind of unfair to think he was going to do a whole lot because usually after that kind of injury, it takes a whole year back, mm -hmm. and then you have other nagging injuries. We've seen it all the time. Only Adrian Peterson really was the only guy I've ever seen True. come back. Mm -hmm. So uh, in some ways, I, I think I think it's it should be expected my that Barkley was Bar struggling. My biggest issue with Barkley is if you're going to compare him to Zeke, Zeke at least plays with some physicality. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, at least will we'll hit you in the mouth. And, you know, Barkley plays with no physicality. I mean, he wants to make he every can't. man miss. If, if he gets physical, he's going to break something. He's going to leave an arm or a but leg on the to, field. He wants to jump over everybody. He wants to make – he just doesn't want to play with any physicality. And so, to me, I, I like a guy like Zeke. You know, I, I've never said anything bad. Look – I used to talk crap about Emmitt Smith because I thought Emmitt Smith was overrated mm -hmm. as a run as a running back for the Cowboys. He I benefited totally from everybody agreed. around him. I, I I, I'll, I'll be the first one to was, say that. But, I mean, he was great, but at the end of the day, to me, he wasn't. He's he's not top five greatest running. Not back. Barry Sanders. Yeah, you know, he's not. I didn't know that. But Zeke, to me, is a is a great player. I don't talk yeah. about Zeke. 
And yeah. as much no. as, as much flack as it gets, he stays healthy, you know, and he plays through yeah. injuries. He does not miss time for injuries very often. And he no. is very physical. The, the thing, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, he's overpaid with his numbers. But you see, our quarterback would have been planted a couple of times this season if it hadn't been some of the blocks he makes. out. He will literally smack the shit out of somebody. Yeah. Backyard Bird Podcast, thank you for Super Chases. Dallas part of that easy schedule for the Eagles. Let me get a couple of these Super Chats here. <laughs> Just call me Flair. Thank you for Super Chases. Mark, can you say happy birthday to my friend? Do you, can you read that? I'll let you read Heart that. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> read it again. Uh, happy birthday, Heart of Dick, you motherfucker. <laughs> cool Eagle, David Super Chat. Hey, 500. Show Pizzle okay, a picture of Boston Scott. Boston Scott <laughs> must must keep you worried, huh? Yeah. Really keeps me up at night. <laughs> Boston Scott. He does He does have his biggest games against the Giants. Yeah, no he plays good against the Giants. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on Daniel Jones going – I mean, this is his third year as a quarterback. Uh, do you think he's the guy you guys can stick with? I mean, with? The, the thing is, is he, he, he hasn't – he has – he really needs to be the guy. I mean, we've, we've drafted him. We, 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 he's a high draft pick. We've put a lot of – you know, we, 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 we put a lot of weapons around him. Like, he needs to be the guy. You, I mean, when you start no. going out and changing out, changing quarterbacks, it makes – you know, you can go – I mean, the Jets have been doing it for years, right? I mean, there's teams out there that have continuously – The Dolphins, organization. The Dolphins, I mean, like, there's been teams year after year after year constantly trying to find that – you know, it quarterback and, you know, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to root against Daniel, even if I mm. disagree with his ability or not, like he needs to be the guy. Otherwise the organization is going to continuously fail because it's clearly so hard to find a quarterback. They don't even make 32 good quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. No, because not every team's got a good quarterback. If you think about it, they, they just don't. So they're rare to, it's rare to find those, you know, those Aaron Rodgers, right. Those Russell Wilson's and, I mean, for me, you can find them this off season. You can, and that's where things get a little interesting because, you know, at this point, it's hard for me, even be someone who's who's tried to support Daniel. It's hard for me to give him a fat contract. I, I, it, I, you know what the problem can he, is? Can he can he lead them to the Super Bowl? Was it Jason Garrett's fault? You know, I don't know. I, it's 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 too hard to. To honestly figure out, I don't know how anybody can honestly answer it. Here's the problem, and this is the same problem that happened when you guys signed Brandon Marshall. You remember when you guys signed Brandon Marshall and they were talking about, oh, my God, how are you going to stop the New York Giants between having, you know, uh, Brandon Marshall, Sterling Shepard, and, of course, um, Odell Beckham Jr. And I said, but he's not going to have time to throw the ball because the offensive line is shit. And you guys went out and got some really good receivers, but it's the same problem that you had with Eli. It all starts from the offensive line. And if you don't fix that offensive line, it doesn't matter if you bring Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers. They're going to get killed back there. I mean, to me, I think the quarterback position is the hardest position to evaluate in all of sports. Yeah. Because if a guy's got all day to throw, you know, he's going to look good. You know, yeah. he's he's, he's going to look good. And if he and, and it's to me, it's the great ones who are able to, you know, make something out of nothing. And but at the same time, how long are those guys going to last? Right. Right. I mean, how, how how legitimately long can they? But to me, when they are getting time and they are getting the plays that they're supposed to, you know, they are getting, you know, a good work from their other uh, teammates. Are they doing their job? And to me, that's where I like I struggle with Daniel because sometimes I think he I think he does perform at the level that he needs to, and then other times, like on Monday night, he's just there's just was, it's not even close. It's not good. Yeah. He's, just, he's missing wide open receivers. He's not he's not leaving the pocket at all to try to make something happen. You know, he's throwing to the he's throwing to the defensive line. You you can't like, blame that on Garrett. No, I, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, but you, yeah. you, you, you got to do things Garrett. to help your quarterback out, though, too. And running the football there's, there's some. No running game. Yeah, yeah the, there's you no got, running game. You know what? Yeah. The same thing with you, Philly. You know, you've had games where you're like, why are we running the fucking football? And you're just like launching and launching and launching. You know, that running game 
now puts the defense on their toes and saying, are they running or are they passing? If you start right. becoming one-dimensional, it's a hell of a lot easier to stop you, and that's where you've got to have a mix. And Well, you know, well, well I, you know, for the for the Eagles and with Hurts, you, you know, running. early on the season, like when we played when we played you guys, Mark, on Monday night, they they were throwing Hurts to the Wolves. Yeah. I mean, they would not run the ball, but if you look like in a Denver game, by establishing that run in the second half, all of a sudden that play action started to work for him, started to freeze people up, and all of a sudden he was able to start making some throws. Pizzle, what are your thoughts on, on Jalen Hurts so far? I'm just curious. I, I wanted to make a point real fast before I do Okay, that. sure, sure. Wouldn't you argue that the Eagles, when they won their Super Bowl, of course both me and Mark I'm sure were disgusted when that happened. But I was there. I mean, Nick Foles – even look good because the offensive line was so good for Philly. Right. Yeah. I mean, right. I mean, I don't think yeah. anybody goes around saying Nick Foles is a franchise quarterback. Oh, right? there are there are some. But there he's a some. but he's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Yeah. Right. That's that's I mean, that's what makes it so hard is evaluating quarterbacks is a guy like even him who can't even get a starting spot. With the Bears. With the Bears was clearly won a Super Bowl because why? The offensive line and, and the game plan that you guys had was working. Like Great running guy attack too. I mean, I think Hertz is a I think, you know, Hertz is in my opinion kind of going really through his rookie year where there's not a lot of right. tape because obviously last year there was a lot of wins, right? Mm-hmm. And so right. now to me how you judge uh Hertz is next year. I think he's clearly done enough to be y'all's quarterback for next year. Like I don't think he's yeah, going yeah. anywhere. Yeah. But you know in the offseason defensive coordinators are gonna you know are gonna address go to what his strengths are right and how will he answer those well you that's know, the, no. that to me so Hertz is still getting away with being still fairly new mm-hmm. and this second half to me will determine like how he he will do and obviously he's playing an opponent uh in the Giants who's who's seen him before so I mean I, I'm just kind of Kind of still wait and see on Hertz, but I mean, yeah. obviously, you guys are. So yeah, that's kind I of where you guys, I, I sincerely thought the Eagles were going to be the basement team this year. Yeah, you know, you know what it is for this team. I think uh, that offensive line is good again. You you got guys with uh, like Malata. Jordan Malata has been tearing it up uh, at left tackle. You have Landon Dickerson mm-hmm. coming along at left guard. You know what you have in Kelsey and Lane Johnson has been healthy for the most part. So the Eagles have finally started running the ball and using those guys to their advantage. You know, I, I think that's been a big deal for the Eagles. You know, uh, we, we got problems on defense, no question about it. You know, I, I still think we, we don't have any edge rushers at all. Mr. Nigel Davis, Super Chat, he says, Pizzle is puzzled about the Giants and the Cowgirls are faulting like they always do on holidays. Eagles are on a streak. The division looks bright for us. I, I, Look, can I, I can I respond I to that. that? Let me sure. <laughs> Mr. Absolutely. International is 100% correct about me. I am puzzled. I'm completely puzzled. <laughs> I have, I have, there's no, I mean he is spot on with that. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of com, uh, people that comment and and ever correct about me, but that is spot on. I am 100% puzzled about the Giants. He, he is yep. exactly right. Yep. David Davis super chases Eagles Shout winning the David. division. Question mark cocaine is a hell of a drug. Eagles have a shot. The Eagles have a shot. Okay, we don't know what, what da- it's. It's Dallas choke season. Come on. Why would I, you? I, but I mean, I, I, it would be great, obviously, to win the division. But mm-hmm. do you really, in the long run, care if you could just get in the playoffs? Yeah, I just want to get in the playoffs. That's really sure. my goal. I just like saying that that because it bothers playoffs. Mark Holmes and the Dallas Cowboy fans. Playoffs. To be quite a, quite honest, you know. Playoffs. Mark Holmes, are you playing things on your little computer? <laughs> playoffs. <laughs> Uh, hey, look, we, we've got a pretty decent playoffs? schedule, and we don't fly on the plane playoffs? no more. We're not flying at all. So I think I think we got a shot to play. Mark, if, I, I, if the Giants beat the Eagles, uh-huh. can I start talking playoffs? Uh, will, will you anyway? <laughs> you know what? Why not? Washington is. Playoffs? again. Everybody's talking. You know what? Actually, it's not that far-fetched because – you have the grouping of the teams. I mean, we know you got Green Bay, you've got Tampa Bay, you've got Dallas, you've got the Rams, and you've got the Cardinals. After that, it's a big drop off. It's a big, big drop off. I mean, think yeah. about it. When we played Atlanta, Atlanta was the seventh seed, and they were four and four. Right. 
Uh, th- yeah, just think about that for a second. Atlanta was it, they were talking about playoffs with Atlanta. Right. So well, and you got an extra team net this year, right? Right. So, yeah. So you have an extra. So you spot. got two more spots that are left there. I mean, let's. I mean, we know the Rams. The I mean, Rams really, and the Cardinals it, are going to be there. We know. We, we, we assume the Cowboys it. will be there. We know Tampa Bay will be there. We know Green Bay will be there. And now look at everybody else. You're talking about if Carolina. You, you're, you're talking about, about the Saints. You're talking about you know. Who else? Maybe Minnesota. Right I mean, there. there's, there's Eagles? sixteen teams in each each conference, yeah. and the fact that they take seven, almost half the conference, exactly the playoffs. It's really bad when your team can't get into the playoffs. But let me say this much: Was it good for Washington to win and make the playoffs last year? I mean, they got a bad match. I mean, they had to play the Super Bowl champs. Well, but going into the playoffs, they weren't. They were a wild card. Well, I mean, no, they shouldn't have been the representative. I mean, it should have been the Giants. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Jesus Philly, Christ. Philly okay. clearly. The cockroach is back. Mark. Here you go. <laughs> Here, here's the they playoff. They literally Ingram. bowed down on national television uh-huh. Mark and just Ingram. gave it to Washington. So, no, they shouldn't have been. They should have been the Giants. Yeah. No, I, true. The Eagles did the right thing. The Eagles did the right thing. And now we're sitting with, what, another extra first-round pick next year and Devontae Smith. That was fun too. I gotta say, you know, if watch him pizzle, off, watch well, him pizzle. You know, off, you know I actually have to thank you, you know son. Gonna, you know he's going. Son, to. I actually have to thank you uh, for trading with us, um, so we could move back and, and take Micah Parsons and and get Goldston. We got a two for one there. We really appreciate it. I know, I know, you know, I know your boy is good, your wide receiver, but, but right, we, we we really appreciate. The best that part movie. of that whole thing was Pizzle's meltdown. Oh God! That... <laughs> well, I mean, I, I knew he was a good player. Like, I just, I mean, it, yeah. it, I would have been, I would have been more happy if he would have went just like with a rival. But it had yeah. to be you guys. It had to be you yeah. guys implementing your foot in our ass once again, and just <laughs> pissing me off, and just making me sad. And yeah, I mean, Look, that's what that's exactly what happened. The uh, Eagles forgot one thing. What? Oh, it didn't work. Hold up. You forgot. Well, you're always trying to do something fancy. Just talk. You play to win the game. They did win the game. Hello? They did win the game. No. The, the game, you play the to win was, this game, son. No. The you game was the position. It. Now, the problem was the Eagles did it wrong. That's the, that, that's the problem. Hey, hey, they, by they the way, you play to win. You didn't know uh, Jerry I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to my, um I saw that. Yeah, he that posted reaction. your thing, right? Yeah. So you know, oh. Slay's a Pizzle guy, right? Oh man, P- Slay, big Slay play is Slay? Uh, big play. Slay's having a hell of a big year. Right? He is. I have guy. to give it to you. Yeah. I have to give it to you. I gave him a, a hard way to go last year, but right now he's playing pretty good against he's bad pretty teams. Good. I think I'm him hoping, and Diggs. I'm hoping he gets burned on Sunday. I like. He Slay might not too. play. I like. He might people not play. You know, I, I hate. I, I, you know, see this. You don't understand. This is like getting hit in the head or punched in the gut. Either one of them is going to hurt. So it's like, do I want to go for the Eagles or do I want to go for the, the Giants? Giants? I mean, it, it's just, it's just hard. I mean, it's you're going of, for the Giants. You know, I am scared of them. You're scared of us. <laughs> no, I'm just, no, it's not scared of you. I'm sick of yeah, you. You, you know, I tell you what scares me about you. Is that you motherfuckers are so crazy that you think that you're gonna win the division? That's some scary motherfuckers right there. Y'all crazy? You, I mean, you're crazy. So gotta, Who knows we, what we you might do? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see what we'll you see, do tomorrow. We'll see. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll so we see. got we got over 531 people here. Please like, please subscribe, and then make sure you go sub up Pizzle and more Combs. Um, put if somebody has their links, put it in I in the chat. Know. I don't know. Uh, if I want anybody? Yeah, we want, want. You want. You want. You want. You want more. You want pizzle. Before he retires for the fiftieth time, you want to make sure. I, 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 I'm, I'm getting. Retired. You know, it's funny. I'm getting so much hate on your channel. Mark is such a clown. He hasn't bathed since the Cowboys won <laughs> the last time. You know, he. It, I'm just like he. He's old and stupid, and I'm just like, damn. Uh, you know, I, I, we don't treat you like that when you come over on my channel. Lord knows we get killed off you there all damn day. I mean, damn. There is you no guys stink as much fans, as your city. Eagle fans are a little are, – are, they're pretty rough. I mean, We're rough. Damn. That's a rough crowd. You just got to take it, Mark. Just got to take it. Brian Harding, thank you for Super Chase. Just Washington with five straight division games. 
Sure can throw a monkey wrench into things. Don't forget about us. Great stream. Thank you, King Dingbat. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. What do you guys think about Washington? I mean, Heineken, that kid's playing decent, playing decent right now. You, you know what's funny about Washington? That Washington is playing better without their two best defense, or excuse me, alleged best defensive players. They played better without Chase Young than with them. Chase Young just looks bad. Looked bad. He wasn't beating one on one with tackles. I'm trying to figure out what the hell was dude doing all off season because he looked below average. And now that he's hurt, their defense is actually playing well. Anybody care to elaborate on that one? Talk to me after Monday because I think that's a that's that's a sneaky game playing Seattle. Mm-hmm. Seattle. I think that's a sneaky uh, little trap game. For I think Washington. well, it's a trap. Yeah. yeah, Seattle is just bad. That, no, they're bad, yeah. but you know Russell Russell's Wilson so good. and and uh, Carol. There, there's got to be a divorce. One of them's got to go. It's just we'll, that bad. We'll see after Monday night. I I'll think be Russell's believe, I'll be a believer if they win that game Monday night. Jeremiah Butler, thank you for super chat. He says, "Stop it, Pizzle. You didn't play well enough to beat us last year." Jeremiah knows that. He knows he's he knows better. Mr. International says, and David Super Chase says, I'll be the first to say I love Mark as a member. Well, there you thank go. You. See? Thank you. There you go. I, Mark I got think, some love. I think. Um he thinks. it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes. Because, you know, no matter what you think in these games this year, some of them just don't make any sense whatsoever. So, you know, I know you guys are feeling good, and, and you should because you guys have turned around because it would have been easy to say pack in the season. You guys have been playing well. I'm not going to dispute here's that. What, here's the, here's but, what Mark fears, Philly 500. All right. I, got, I know what Mark fears. Yeah. Mark knows. Child that support. Team, <laughs> Mark, <laughs> Mark knows that his team's going to the playoffs, right? I mean, it's pretty much a foregone right. conclusion. Even mm-hmm. if the Cowboys are banged up right now, they're they're going to get into the playoffs, right? They've Most probably like, done yeah. enough. He knows that the biggest problem in the playoffs would be a division rival. Mm. He knows it would be. Yeah. That's a team that they're they're the teams that know the Cowboys well. Yeah, right. I mean the 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 Rams. There's they've got a lot of pieces that they've kind of. You know they've mixed together, right? I mean Stafford. Mm-hmm. What what's he going to do in the playoffs with them? You know, they got OBJ now, whatever. You know, Arizona, I don't know if anybody buys Arizona. I don't know. I mean, no, it doesn't seem like anybody takes them seriously, even though they keep doing their thing. Tampa Bay is, I don't know if they're as good as they were a year ago. I think what Mark, Green Bay, you know, they got a good defense. They They don't get enough respect for their defense. But I think what Mark really fears is he fears a division rival and that rivalry being a problem for his Cowboys yes. in the playoffs. That's what I, that's what I tell I, you what. what okay. Right. I agree. Being totally a Dallas agree. Cowboy fan, <clears throat> I would rather play somebody in my division than to play Aaron fucking Rodgers. Yeah, Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has been the thorn in our I just don't want to see it. And that's yeah, but you're I not going to play but Mark, you you the likelihood is you probably wouldn't play them like the first game. I don't know if you're get, you're not getting the bye. No, um, you're not no. getting the buy, Mark. No, if we played like we did last week, no. But here's the thing that's crazy because you've got the circular firing squad between Green Bay, the Rams, and the Cardinals. The Rams have to play Green Bay this weekend. They still have to play the Cardinals. That's going to knock a couple of those guys out, or maybe knocks the Rams out. Um, Green Bay, of course. Aaron Rodgers got the. Turf toe, or or something with. Toe. I'm not sure if it's turf toe or something else, but he's talking he's about how much COVID toe. Well, whatever it is, but you know he is not. He did not look that great that first game back against Russell Wilson. In fact, that was a butt ugly game. Um, I'm like you. I'm not sold on the Cardinals, and we play the Cardinals, so we could end up beating them and getting their spot. Tampa Bay plays great at home, but they lost to Washington. They should have lost to New England. So I'm not sure how they are. It's like whoever is hot at the end, like Tampa Bay did last year. Tampa Bay got blown out twice by the Saints last season. They didn't win their division. I, I just, they I, were a wild card and got hot. I don't think you want to play a division team. Mark. I, I I have to agree with my brother here. No. Because, Thanks, because, bro. because you you got it. Because okay. the truth of the matter is, is the when truth you play of, a division oh, here we go. team in the playoffs. Yeah. It's, it's hard. It's always, you, you never know what's going to happen. Those are the most scariest games. Because of the Saints 
destroyed Tampa Bay twice, and they lost to Tampa Bay in the playoffs. I understand that philosophy. I mean, remember Dallas? But, what, what, were you guys like 13-3 and three or something, and the Giants come why, in? This and is beat why you guys? Mark yes. is a Giants fan this weekend. Right. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to see. No, I, I, I'm just tired of seeing the cockroaches on my channel. I, I, no, I, 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 I tell you, my stream the other day, I, I could tell that there was fear by the Cowboys watching us play because of the style of play. <laughs> they didn't want any part. Am I shaking? You know it, Mark. Am yes, I you shaking? Are. Your pinky just moved. <laughs> I just saw it. Okay. Okay, oh, you, oh, let me do the Philly My 500 drink. Oh, that pinky's right <laughs> pinky up. That's, that's pinky class, out. Smart. You know, class. son, son, it makes me wonder if you got a little sugar in the tank there, but nah, nah, that's Italian for class. Pause. I pinky ring though. Pause. I got a pinky ring, but it don't fit. My my fat fingers too fat. Mm. A worst behavior. Thank you yeah. for super chat. He says 500. I'm getting the weird feeling that losing to San Francisco is going to come back and haunt us. That could it could haunt us. Or no getting blown out that. by the Cowboys might come back to haunt you. Nah, that's not going to haunt us. Mr. International he says, I like Pizzle too, but Bad Dog is just as cool. Yeah, we like Bad Dog too. I'm Pizzle loves damn Bad cool, Dog. Though. I'm really cool. Yeah. The guy's got sunglasses on. Yeah, I mean, inside. I'm, I'm you know you're cool. Now, uh, yeah. Can, 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 I, can I make a confession here? Can I make a confession here? Yes. Okay. Son, Pizzle. When you first did this overrated video, there's yeah. some YouTubers <laughs> out there that are overrated. Yeah. I was like, and people were like, oh, my God, this guy's talking about you. And I'm like, mm -hmm. who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? I, I, and I hey, talked to I, Philly. I'm like, who the fuck is I this mean, guy? <laughs> okay, but, but, but let's just break it down right here. I mean, Philly, obviously, right? How many, how many, how many, number, how many people you got in here right now, Philly? We got 559. He's got 559 people. Now, I'm going to argue that I probably Half of them are Cowboy fans. I probably brought a, a good little amount with me. But, anyways, I don't. Why in the hell would 559 people watch Philly 500? I He's mean, you know. I mean, he. he Everybody he, likes a train wreck. He, he, is, he is biased. And oh, admittedly so. I mean, you are biased. You think that I, you I'm think, an Eagle fan? You of think that the Eagles are going to catch the Cowboys and win the division? There's no, no. no I think they. I That's think they have happen. a. I think they have a shot. But it's not. Gonna I'm not happen. saying. You never know. Look, I, I understand. We're things. doing. We're doing a little brotherly fight here. It's. It's. You know. It's just what we do. But I, there's no way that you actually legitimately think that the Eagles are going to catch the Cowboys. I think they have a shot. Well, here's the thing. You, I, did, okay. I honestly do, and maybe that's maybe that's my bias kicking and in. You know what? You too, Mark. Admit. You well, are biased too. Oh, well, of course I'm. I'm you a homer. Piz I hey, Pizzle, are you biased? No, I'm as clean oh, as shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> come, son, come here. Oh, Boom. It's a fair you're up. Uh, uh, you're you're There's grounded. No you're grounded. He's <laughs> lying. He's lying. Oh, it's Jeremiah fair Butler. Straight. I'm a Jeremiah, on my Jeremiah Butler, I got to answer your super chats before you, I get you sub. Okay, I, I, what's the question? But what's the question? I, I, they say they, they they complain that you don't answer the super chats. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to keep up with with, 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 with on, kids. on your channel when they super chat. You don't. They say you don't read the super chats. I always hear well, that. I, 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 I try. I, you know, there's a whole. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, Eagles channel. Wait, they're cha they're super chatting on my channel. Deontay, yeah, of course we do. Deontay Cole, they for super chat. He says, Eagle fans are crazy. They okay. think they have a chance right. in the division. And I bet the Jets upset. Look, me and Deontay Cole agree. They that's have a why, chance. That's why I said that 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 Philly 500 is overrated. Because I'm because I think my team has a chance to win the division. Because you think I'm biased. Yet you you've got everything back there is what. New York Giants, New Look, York Giants. Look at that! Wall don't mean I don't call. Oh, the Giants are so bad. good. Uh, uh, Giant uh, pot, on, uh, uh, pot, hey, two meat weeks, kettle. Two weeks ago, pot, uh, look behind you, Philly. Look behind you, buddy. What's behind you? Yeah. I fully admit I'm biased about I, my. You team. know what I think, Mark? I think this is just me because I've always respected Mark's man cave. I've always yeah. respected. It. I've never said anything bad about it. Mm -hmm. I I think truthfully that me and Mark have worn on you, Philly. And you've improved <laughs> what's your backdrop. I'm okay. a very, I look, I there hate you go. green screen. I hate green screen. I hate guys. That oh, me to too. I don't like green screen. I, I hate like green, green, green screens. And so to me, it's like, man, if you're going to rep, put it on the wall somewhere. So yeah. I respect mm -hmm. that. 
But here's yeah. the, the reality here is both you've copied both Mark and I. Well, he's got hold, hold, hold on. He's got a long ways to go because he's just put a little bit of ego, just a couple little ego even, bullshit finished, up there. But I definitely have not copied you guys. You've copied. You've no, you you you, 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 you couldn't get anywhere close to what we got here, son. Yeah. Okay, you That's know right. we're we're right. the he, Pizzle got the creative side for me. Okay, no, oh, okay. you must have got your mom <laughs> shit right there. That's cat. That's not. <laughs> what, what do you what I do you think about what, Mark's got, what do you think about Mark Holmes sanding wood videos? <laughs> hey, he's a master craftsman. Hey. I mean, the man knows how to work with his hands. I, I, yeah, I know how to work the I wood. Disrespect what Paul does, and that it's just to me, I think he's a little. I think his football opinion can be a little silly. That's all. Man, you know, I think he's a, okay. you know. Cowboys will make a move, and he'll say it's the greatest move ever. It's like, I, no. it's like any time. This is the truth. This is this is no, no this not is everyone. No, 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 no. Every single time I see, like, you know how, like, you'll see like updates, like on a ticker on ESPN, like Cowboys did this. I'll read it and say, I know how Mark Holmes is going to spin this. <laughs> I, listen, That's just I'm trying to no, hold it. No, no. Okay, truth in advertising. What I try to do is, I, I hate being De- Debbie Downer. I try and look for the positivity of anything out there, okay? I say, here's what you could get, okay? I mean, what do you want me to do? Be like, oh, woe is me. This is the dumbest thing we've ever done. I I want that Mark Holmes. I want the guy that deep down inside is burning inside that they just did something. Whatever, whatever that case. It's called be. the urinary track. Infection. Oh no! I believe yeah. me. Many, many times with Jason Garrett, I've been like, "Why are we keeping this motherfucker?" I was ready to get rid of him long ago. To me, after you know the the um, 2015 season when we had you know without Tony Roman, we won one game. I'm like, you can't coach a guy that's been on your roster for a year and a half to win one game, one game. I would have gotten okay, rid of his ass right there and there. Let me ask you a question. Give me a player on your team who is a liability for the Cowboys. We got rid of the biggest one, which was Jalen Smith. That's what I'm saying, Mark. I'm just saying we just did. Liability-wise, okay. <clears throat> Liability-wise or overpriced. Right now, I hate to say it, but Lyle Collins, and I've been talking about Lyle Collins, Lyle Collins, who was injured all last year because he came into camp out of shape and overweight, hurt his hips, comes in, plays one game, <clears throat> and turns out he missed seven, seven uh, <coughs> drug tests and gets suspended for six games, and they get it negotiated down to three, and he says, no, nah, that's not good enough. I'm going to fight it. And they say, okay, you know what? We're going to take it back to six. How about that? And comes back and does not play well. And it's a $15 million cap hit. How about that? Boom. I've said it. He probably won't be back. Hey, the wig man, man. Thank you for the super chat. Um, Adam Scott, thank you for the super chat. He says, Dak Prescott is 21-6 and six versus Damn. the East in his career. I would love to see an East team in the playoffs. Dak owns the East. Much love, Philly, Mark, and Pizzle. You thank go. you, buddy. I, I, I would love to play them in the playoffs. Oh, you'd you know? love to play anybody to play off. Let's be clear. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll I just want to make sure. I don't we'll care who chance. we play. We'll, we'll get staying mode. Thank you for the super chat, my man. Shout out to you. He says Eagles go the NFL got the NFL on notice. Philly five hundred the goat. Thank you, buddy. That's why I keep trying to tell Pizzle. You don't want to listen. I'm the goat. I'm the goat. So I'm assuming that Philly, <laughs> you're you're believing that your Eagles are going to win. Yeah, I think the Eagles. I think the Eagles are set up to win. Now, I will say this: it's an NFC East game. This game that always, this, yeah. yeah, this game. This always makes me uncomfortable. These NFC East games, but it is the Giants. We have owned them in the past, and what I expect is a close game into the fourth quarter, and then the Giants to do something stupid, and then the Eagles will win. That is exactly what I think is going to happen. <laughs> I mean, why not? How I don't think the Giants can stop the Eagles' run game, so I, I, I think the Eagles will keep keep that pathetic offense off the field. Well, hold on, My, the Giants' defense was playing good football. Before what, they played your, table what's football. your what's your what's your, what do you guys rank? Like twenty second, twenty third versus the rush, right? I mean, I think we get. I, see, you, see. You're asking me now because, and I got bad feelings. I've got right. bad feelings. I got a bad taste in my mouth with the Giants right now. You know, I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling as confident as I'd like to feel. 
But I do feel like that you guys coming to to MetLife, going on the road, you're feeling a little high and mighty, right? Two game winning streak. Right. You know, but to me, what happened on Monday night is not an indication of what's going to happen on Sunday. Tampa Bay is just a much better team than us. I don't think the Eagles are a much better team. Anyway. Record wise, okay. you know, you can you could make you could say whatever oh, they're a better team, but the reality is that I think I look at the two mat, the game matchup last year and say that I think the Giants had the had the edge on the Eagles after both games, after watching them play eight quarters with each other. Mm-hmm. And you say, you say, Philly, that Eagles have dominated the Giants last week. Last I mean, several I, years, I, obviously, but there was also some Christmas miracle wins in there. Like I mean, yeah. it wasn't ju- yeah. high hit scoring hit games, if I remember yeah. too. I mean, there's been games that if the ball bounced a funny way. I understand. I'm saying woulda, coulda, shoulda, shit. Right. But the fact is, is you did get fortunate in some of those matchups. Yeah, but that's that's part of like. That's part of the whole giant eagle thing, though. Yeah, I mean, if you go you back, it, it, it's always weird. Get the bounces. It's it's the weirdest thing in the world. It really is. I mean, you just win. We win the weirdest ways. I go back to like I was a little young for the first miracle at the Meadowlands, but I remember an overtime game where we kick a field goal, it gets blocked. Clyde Simmons runs it up and runs it in for a touchdown. The Deshaun Jackson thing, even the Ingram drop last year, I consider the same situation. You know, it, it, for whatever reason, the Eagles always beat the Giants the weirdest ways. Here's what and I here's what I do know too. There's a lot of you know Daniel Jones not getting a lot of love right now. <laughs> you beat the Eagles, we can kind of start sweeping some shit under the rug, in my opinion, okay. because you okay. know those are the games that you got to win. You got to win your NFC East gap matchups, mm-hmm. and obviously we didn't play very good against the Cowboys, but that's because we were dropping like flies, right? Right. Let me get, let me, yeah. Let me get a couple of these super chats. They're getting out of control here. (laughs) Super Tony, thank you for super chats. I feel you had the best setup with the big fat head in the bedroom, which you need to bring back, by the way. I'm where I got, actually, I got a couple of them over here. I just haven't put them up yet. Um, Jeremiah Butler, thank you for super chat. He says, Pizzle, what in the hell made you all hire Garrett? As if you all hadn't closely watched in the past few years. That's why Gettleman is my golden guy. I mean, the reason why I think they did that was because they hired Joe Judge, who's obviously a young coach, and they tried to pair him with somebody who had been a head coach for an extended period of time. Not only that, but somebody who's been in the NFC East for an extended period of time, and they thought that that would be helpful, and apparently it was not. So, well, well, did Jer- Don't blame get- me, Jeremiah. I didn't make the hire. <laughs> well, Garrett got credit for helping Dak, though, right? Oh. No. <laughs> Is that true, though, Mark? No. I mean, he got a lot of credit. He, he, for that, he didn't right? have the opportunity to ruin Dak because, see, Dak that first year when he took over came there with what he had as a rookie. Dak had right. like one rep in the offseason per practice. And then all of a sudden, Kellen Moore gets hurt and the Tony Romo gets hurt. And it's like, okay, <laughs> you're our starter. And it's just like, just go with what you got. And they fortunately right. had Zeke Elliott and things. But if you look at it from. Kellen Moore being the offensive coordinator, how he started out last year versus when Jason Garrett was here, he is playing at a whole nother level from when Jason Garrett was here these last two years. Now, whether you like Dak or hate Dak, you got to admit that the boy is doing some damage. He's had a couple of injuries, of course, but he is far and away better than he was when when Jason Garrett was there. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Gettleman going forward, Pizzle? I don't know, man. I don't know. I want to you hear know, Pizzle say it, we got a so clean hard. house. I'm telling you, Mr. International hit it so so perfect because I am puzzled. Because there's honestly a lot of players I do like on the Giants roster. There really is. There's a, there's a bunch of players that I think are, are pretty good. But here's my – again, I think this is difficult, and I don't know how anybody actually answers this question, but if a GM brings in really good players, but then they got a dumb dumb for a coach – is it fair to blame the GM? Yeah. I mean, Mark, Mark, I mean. That I, was the Cowboys with Jason that's Garrett. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't think Jerry Jones, first of all, I've never, I don't say a lot of bad things about Jerry Jones. I think Jerry Jones is hilarious. I think he's charming. I, I just, I find him to be funny. Okay. 
There's nothing eight hundred years old. There's nothing. There's nothing more funny than watching Jerry Jones's. I mug, want me some mug glory mug holes. When, when they're losing, I'm, it's my favorite thing. Like the league, the league is better in my opinion to have Jerry Jones in it. But yeah, nevertheless, you Jerry obviously was part of the Cowboys during the mid '90s. Correct, yep. Mark. I mean, he's mm-hmm. a part of that process, part of that building. He's clearly always been hands on. And then, obviously, Jason Garrett was the head coach. So now you could spin it that Jay, J, that Jerry was getting him the players, but he was they weren't being coached right. You could all I mean, so to I me, I can't disagree with that. You to me, Philly. You asked me about Gettleman. I look at the roster. I think it looks good. It makes sense. I see stuff that I I like personally. That just I guess that makes me if if Gettleman's a dumb dumb, then I'm a dumb dumb. Then like I, you know that's that's just being honest. I don't. I question some of the coaches, right? So, so, yes. so would you keep probably keep Gettleman? And I, in my opinion, coach? at this point right now, and if they really lose to the Eagles, I'm blowing everything up. I'm, blowing up. They all they all got to go because to me they're all tied at the hip. They yeah. all made decisions together, and that's what sucks about Jason Garrett getting fired. To me, is because you can sit there and point the finger and, and be the scapegoat, but. If Jason Garrett gets fired and the team doesn't in, doesn't show improvement, so for example, the offense just continues to struggle, then who do you blame then? Right. What I mean, so it wasn't it Garrett's fault in this situation. You can blame it for the Cowboys. That's something different. But yeah, but is Freddie the Kitchens show, hey, the problem you have is is Freddie Kitchens really a great play caller? And well, you still, that, and, and you really don't have time to really change much at this point. But you at least, show, but I think you. What I'm, what I'm getting at though, Mark, is will there be a different variety being mm-hmm. given? Will there be a more emphasis on the running game? Will yeah. there be, for some reason, the last several games, the Giants have been so play action heavy, but they're not even running the ball. Yeah, so it's kind of so like it doesn't make, that doesn't yeah. make sense to me. It's like you constantly show the play action. If it, if you're not if you're not even running it, why would the defense respect the play action? Like it doesn't right. that doesn't make sense. So to me, it's like that's the things that I'm looking for. Honestly, is will there will there be a different philosophy? And if they do change the philosophy, will it work? And I actually love the fact that we're playing an NFC East team mm-hmm. because playing NFC East teams are so important. Yeah. And so to me, it's we're going to find out quick. We're going to find out. It's going to be interesting. It could be a very heavy and it run game. It sounds like I'm going to be winning a trophy. Nah, I feel like definitely win. I mean, it sounds Jay like Jay. Mark is going to make us a trophy. And He's going to make I, us a trophy. And I'm going to get to I'm going to get to home. Is this not why you were here? Yeah. Yeah, are you not entertained? Trying to get me demonetized again. I'm oh, that, no, that, demonetized that, again. that is all the, these clips are all safe here. These are all I mean, safe. how could they be safe? They're safe. I've been using these for years. I get demonetized for everything. You th- That's because you're a bad you boy. Let me ask you something. Do you feel um uh Philly, do you think the Giants are done playoff wide like no chance? I would never say never, especially when you change a coach, you never know how that's gonna team's gonna mm-hmm. respond. But uh, I think I, – I don't think it looks good. Okay, so – but here's where, I, here, here's where I'm going with this. If the Giants beat the Eagles – Then uh, then I guess technically based upon the no, wild card – what I'm card, saying is then that would, that would be the case that maybe the Eagles are done. Oh, he's getting I think crafty. What I'm saying here. is uh, you, you think we're no. – you may think we're eliminated and we might be eliminating you. Oh. Well, it, it would be a big loss for us, but I don't major think we're loss eliminated. For you. Um. It, it wouldn't eliminate. We could probably lose one more game before, you know, and be okay. But I mean, look, it, the Eagles have to. The Eagles have to go on a streak here. They got to keep winning. How would you feel if they lost to the? Like, would you just be? I would really be devastated? absolutely devastated because you think the Giants stink. Yes, and because we've owned the Giants so much in the past. You know that 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 would be surprising. Like like as an Eagle fan, I hate to say I expect to beat the Giants all time. You know, it's just it's just been that way for so long that how how can I? The last time they played, yeah, I I know. And and I look at that like you know everything happens. You know, it happens every once in a while. Mm -hmm. But before that, how many games did you guys lose to us? Was like three years. It was just a fart in the wind, wasn't it? That's what I hope. (laughs) <laughs> That's what I hope. Yeah, it was just That's the what coolest thing that happened in, in a moment in time. Now, if you win two games in a row, then then I can say, okay, then we got the streak. 
Yeah. Right. Well, but but right now I'm hoping I, I don't want to be I don't want to sound overconfident like a douche and overconfident. I feel douche. good about this game. But I mean, you pretty but, much come off like a douche all the time. I mean, seriously, that, you're a douche, that's son. true. But I mean, I mean more Sing douche. That. Yeah, but I mean more douchey than usual. <laughs> you know, you're you're definitely like, vinegar and water. So okay. Yeah, I, I am. James, her thank you for super chat. I'm a Cowboys fan. I hate Anthony Brown. Always gets beat. What do you think of that, Mark? Well, he does have three interceptions on season, including one that is a pick six. Um, he does get a lot oh, more I attention. Like well, he does get a lot more attention because of Diggs on the other side. So everybody's kind of going that way. Just kind of saying gonna, it. You know, he was awful against Anthony Brown. I ain't going to lie to you, but he's actually gotten a little bit better as the season's gone on. I'm going to like this. I'm going to like this. This is going to be fun to read more. Kyle Seisman, thank you for Super Chat. He says, it's not hard for an average quarterback like Prescott to look good with three <laughs> number one wide receivers, two number one running backs, Two very good tight ends and offensive line. Not impressed. Uh, I'll say, <laughs> how about I'll say Andy Dalton? Because Andy Dalton had that offense last year, and what did he do with it? Same well, line? Was it the same starting lineup? Same line. Duncan Wright. Thank Lamb you and all, I'm chat. sorry, you're just kind of brushing right on over that, aren't you? Brushing right past it, right? Okay. I, I, I do. I do. Duncan Wright, thank you for Super Chat. He says, hey, why is Denzel talking to Mark and Pizzle? Denzel Washington talks to everybody. I can't help it that I look like Denzel Washington. By the way. He's a crazy I motherfucker. I can't help it. I look exactly like him. People get confused, you know? Okay. Paul Abbott, thank you for the Super Chat. Even Pizzle's laughing. <laughs> thank you for the Super Chat. Appreciate it. That's what it. I'm saying. I, you, you say stuff on this channel. He's crazy. That just truthful. don't make sense, and then yet you get 500-some people. It just doesn't make sense. Because maybe he's overrated. Maybe he your he's overrated. <laughs> okay, glasses off. I, you I would see him. You would Hold see it. Wait, 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 Washington. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a therapy whistle session here in a minute because baby doll Denzel. whistle. I love Denzel, and you're gonna you're gonna say that you you look just like Denzel. <laughs> exactly I'm like slap in Denzel's face. Oh shit! It's, it can't help it. Um, we're like we look yeah. alike, dude. You can't see the resemblance. Father of the year, I am not. <laughs> Adam Scott, thank you for the super chat. He says, "I know how the Cowboy fans feel about Micah Parsons. What are Philly and Pizzle's opinions on him? Do you think he's a generational talent, or is it too soon? Your p- opinion on Micah Parsons? I think it's way too soon." I think he's playing. I think he's playing hard this year, being a, being a rookie. But I I think he comes off like a guy. Mark is going to disagree with this, but I think he comes off of a guy. If the Cowboys aren't continuously winning, that he won't be the same player. He won't give the same. Um, I think. He's did playing, you see him last week? He plays with a high motor. He's clearly the <clears> defensive <throat> rookie of the year. All that good stuff. But I question. I I I want to see him. I want to see the Cowboys struggle and see what his attitude is. He is started. the only That's reason that we say. were in that game last week. No, I understand. He he, he plays at a high level, but look, injuries are going to start – injuries to take a toll on everybody, right? I mean, every player eventually gets hurt, and how do they play through those injuries? True, but and, – and we – uh, Here's a – okay, now, now, now let, let, me, let me say this much. I want Mark Holmes thinks he's Mark uh, Lawrence Taylor. I mean, he's he already have, got videos of Lawrence have a Taylor. Is he Ray Lewis-like career? I mean, no, but here's, here's like the career? thing. Here's the thing with the Dallas Cowboys. I want you to think about this because if somebody had said this to me – beginning of the season, that Randy Gregory was going to miss four games, that Demarcus Lawrence was going to miss ten games, that Navelle Gallimore was going to be out, that Donovan Wilson would be on IR twice, and, um, you know, we, we got rid of Jalen Smith, and the only guy, and, and we're going to play Micah Parsons at linebacker and defensive end. There's no way in the world I would say that that defense was going to be any good. But he has been so good that you have to count where is this guy. And I'm going to say that I believe the fact that he is playing linebacker and defensive end actually is to his advantage because now the quarterbacks are saying, where where is that guy? Because now we have to account for him. Is there's, he, is, there's, there's no question that going into that draft, he's the, the he's, the, he's the perfect yep. thing that you guys yep. needed. Because you guys, I mean, there was no D in Dallas last year. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he, I mean, you guys hit a home run with him. There's no oh. question about that. I mean, I, 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 I thought he was going to be good. I Nobody thought he was going to be that good. I question longevity. That's what I question. 
Well, and that, that'll that take continue? time. Because if somebody said to you the Dallas Cowboys would be eighth in the NFL in scoring defense without Demarcus Lawrence and Randy Gregory, you said you're smoking crack. But that's where we are right now. They held Pat Mahomes without a touchdown pass and the 19 points in their stadium. Oh, son, don't disrespect, son. I brought you into this world. I'll take your ass out. This is this is like a Pizzle and Mark Holmes kiss each other ass session with, with Michael Parsons. Come on. Oh, you know what? Like, you've always Michael been Parsons. the jealous son. Just, it, 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 just because he's, Pizzle. He's, he's, he no uh, are you Taylor, worried that, no, that Pizzle's my favorite Taylor. son? Is that what Come it on, is? You, you, no, wake Michael <laughs> Anthony up. Make his ass up. He's sleeping too long. But let me tell you, I saw Mark, you did a video something about trying to compare him to Lawrence Taylor. Well, Lawrence He's Taylor. No Lawrence Taylor. No, 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 I didn't say. Although it's still a little bit, we haven't had a full season. What but right now, he's only a sack and a half from Lawrence Taylor's rookie year, where Lawrence Taylor was the only rookie to ever win Defensive Player of the Year. And as you start looking at these numbers, where he's beating numbers that Aaron Donald has and things, he is blowing away some of the statistics. How many sacks does he have? He has eight sacks. It's really good. He's on pace for yeah. 13 and a half sacks. He's on pace for 88 solo tackles. He's got 20. Well, he'll have on pace for 28 pressures. I mean, the numbers, you could say if he was a defensive end, these are great numbers for a defensive end. You could say if these are, he was a linebacker, these are great numbers for a linebacker. He's great both ways. Stop. Stay. Stop yawning, son. Stop yawning. I, I just, I just, I, I'm just saying. You, 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 I mean, listen, when Chase Young was doing what he was doing last year, by the way, every number that Chase Young had last this, year is already been This is why Pizzle calls you overrated, Mark. Okay, well. You know? because he, yeah, he's, I mean, look, Michael Parsons is good, and now all of a sudden he's saying he's going to win defensive MVP. You have to put him in the conversation. <laughs> I mean, but that uh, – he's a good player, Mark. If he – okay. Well, the He's best rookie Taylor. season ever is 12 and a half sacks by a defensive end. He's at eight with seven games to go. Just saying. He gets another four sacks and a half. He ties that as a rookie. Has more than Lawrence Taylor had as a rookie. Along with all the tackles. No, 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 let's be play clear. And, 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 and wait a minute. Let, when well, you talk true. about most valuable, we went from 29th to 8th in scoring defense. If that ain't most valuable right there, turning that that garbage and let me let me say this. That defense that we had was garbage. It was the worst goddamn defense no, I've ever seen in my been life. A perfect fit for you guys. Good fit. But what perfect. I'm saying is, Marcus, instead of just saying it's a good fit, you have to go over the top and say he's <laughs> Lawrence fucking Taylor. And that's the problem. And that's what makes me say what I say. Lawrence Taylor changed it. the game. Michael Parsons ain't changing the game. Okay. All right. Okay. Now you talk about my guy. All right. Well, okay. Well, well uh, let's see. I, We're only 10 games in yet on the season. We still got seven listen, more. We we got Jalen Rager here, and he's changing the game at McDonald's right now because I was going to say, man, listen, a get me a McRib. Get me a McRib, man. Okay. He's got a McDonald's. I love it. Dak Prescott is a reflection of the products around him. Jalen Hurts is the product. Look at Cooper Rush. Uh, that, that's directed to you. Mr. Okay, Michael. let me stop. Let uh, me stop. Let me say okay. this. That's what I was talking about earlier, how hard it is to judge quarterback talent. Right. It, I mean, you even – whoever – I can't remember. That, that's even an example there. It's like I think Dak's a good quarterback. I, I legitimately yeah, I do think too. Dak is a good oh, quarterback. Too. But you do can too. make the argument that, oh, it's look at the talent he's got around him. Like, look, right. You know, and then Hurts, you're like, if you think Hurts is a good quarterback – well, he's got, you know, he's got, you know, he's got Devontae Smith, you know, that's all he's got. And so it's like, it is so damn hard to evaluate the it's quarterback very position. It's very hard. And, and, well, and it's hard much. to evaluate in one year or two years. You it really yeah. need multiple years. You need like four or five years. You do. You do. But see, that, that's what makes it difficult and tricky for the Giants because you got to decide whether you want to extend Daniel Jones or not, right? Yeah. Th but that's, that's, that's the gamble because you could take a guy like, uh, take a guy like Matthew Stafford, for example, and I'm not comparing him to Daniel Jones, but he did absolutely nothing with the Lions, right? I don't think right. anybody says that he's a terrible quarterback. No, right? I do, but I mean, clearly they weren't. He wasn't going to win a Super Bowl with Detroit, 
but now he might win one with Los Angeles. So does that mean the narrative changes on him? Did you see him last week? No, I understand that, Mark. But, but he should have had six interceptions. Is, my point being is, is the Lions clearly weren't going anywhere with Stafford when they got yeah. him. They right. were, so uh, my, my you know, being, I beg to disagree because going, with Jim Caldwell, they were a good team. Remember, you got a Hall of Fame wide receiver there. They okay. had Namakin. They had three All Pros on their defense that year. And were, uh, they, were they ever in contention to actually win a Super Bowl? Though twenty fourteen, you had three All Pros on the defense. That's why you. That's why you get. That's why you give a franchise quarterback a huge contract. Okay, but hold on, hold on. They had. Um, damn, he's been on both your team. Uh, wide receiver from Seattle. God, why Golden can't? Tate. Huh? Yeah, Golden, Golden Tate. Tate. Golden Tate was a Pro Bowl receiver that year. He had Megatron. Okay, Hall of Famer. Mm-hmm. He had Namakin Sue. He had, um, damn, he had a so linebacker and a safety that. Oh, but now hold on, hold on. With that, he only had 21 touchdowns with those two wide receivers in that season. 21 touchdowns, and you had Megatron Mark, and Golden Mark, Tate. You're proving my point right here. You're already, you, you feel a little bit vulnerable because you think Stafford and the Rams are a good team. And so now you're trying <laughs> I've watched to Matthew Stafford, Stafford throw four interceptions in the last two weeks. Okay. <laughs> so I think Pizzle, Pizzle is pinning you down more. I got yeah. Mark so He's got him yeah. pegged. Got him so, yeah, I got him. I got him pegged. Like, okay. Just, I'm going to use your words. Matthew Stafford is overrated. Okay. And that's fair, Mark. But you're, you're saying it because you're afraid that Stafford and the Rams are going to knock out your Cowboys in the playoffs. That's no, they what the will. reality is. Yeah. Although I think okay. I, my point being though is is you don't really know if, right. a te- if it's a team or if it's a quarterback. Right. Deshaun Watson, obviously he's going through, but like he might have just been carrying the Texans on his own. Right. Well, Walter White, ago. I'm glad your nephew's doing well. That's good. Yeah, to hear. Walter White. Walter White's here making that blue stuff. Mark, my nephew's been doing, seem to be doing well. You know, as much as I would love to be able to continue going on here, I, I got to go take care of the meats. Yeah. All right. Go, go get cook your, your son's meat. I'm getting ready to grab some meats too, Mark. All right. Yeah. Well, let me Pause. thank Mark and Pizzle <laughs> both for coming on. Hey, uh, make, it was a great, make sure, a great make sure you hug my granddaughter. Talking. Wait a minute. Before he goes. Is a trophy really being made here? Yeah, trophy I'll, being oh, made. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I'll be in the, my workshop sanding some wood and painting it. So, you know, and I'll do five or six green, videos. One side's going to be giant blue. <laughs> uh, one side will be giant blue. One side will okay. be, you know, I, I might even do Kelly green for, for Philly because yes, I know how much you love it. Well, Kelly Please, green. green you know, it it, we'll put Manchester. the burgundy in the back. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll hide the burgundy because it. it yeah. Yes. We'll hide the burgundy. We, we they don't even have a name. Right. You know? Yeah. We'll put that one in the back. But yeah. It'll be all right. Or is this just yeah. oh, wait, wait? Or is this just going to be between you two? I can do Eagles and Giants only. No, I, I think I think you know, for my boy. I think no. Well, I think I, okay. I like. We're gonna let you. We're gonna let you be the center of our bet this weekend. You're the artist. It may, the maybe artist, maybe it actually just should just be between you guys, and that this trophy goes back and forth between you. Well, that's that. I mean, that's fine. I mean, kind of like Jerry Jones in uh, Kansas City with that. Piece yeah, it's like, but this is this is like it's like a Philly five hundred and Pizzle mm-hmm. Trophy thing. Yeah, there you go. From a boy, we'll have to come up with a name. Like, I don't know, Dingback Trophy. I don't, there I don't know. Go. I, I don't know what yeah. to call it. But Daniel Jones stinks trophy. Yeah, the whatever, over, right? the overrated it's, trophy. We're just, <laughs> happy. we're just happy, Mark, that you will you will make something for your sons once in your fucking lifetime. Oh, see. <laughs> The liquid dad, <laughs> yep, and and, and we see how of it, we see of what a fatherly influence, influence or lack thereof does because yeah, y'all fucked on up. The bottom of the trophy, you can say from dad. <laughs> you know, okay, yeah, the, fizzle, the fizzle trophy. I like there, that. the fizzle trophy. <laughs> fizzle, that's great. That's perfect. All right, Th- thanks for having me too. Really yeah, I'll, no, I'll thank you. With, I will leave with. All that. right, guys.